Hello and welcome to Lost Art. I am Gar and I am here with... Al. That's him. That's him. Uh, this week we are going to be picking a couple of our favourite pop songs from the last quarter century. Yeah. Well, I don't... How do you do a list like this? With great difficulty. Yeah, it takes a while. I started going, there's me six, there's yeah. me eight. Okay, twelve, I'll whittle it down. There's fifteen. Ooh, twenty-four. How many do we pick? Six. Yeah, it's... Well, if, if we're sticking to the kind of six-song formula, it's always going to be very difficult to whittle it down. It was very hard. Like, it's it's a weird one. Um, I went through a bunch of stuff before I actually decided on yeah. what I was going to put down here. Yeah. Because um, what happens is you pick one song and that kind of opens up the, the, the Pandora's box of songs that are like that. Exactly, and then you go, well, that's better yeah. and more important. Yeah. And also, I can't, there's certain songs I was like, I can't not have this on the list. Yeah. But there will be obviously many volumes to this. We have to do a bunch of We have of to do another, especially it, 25 years of pop, we can, I'm only picking six, that's not going to be the only one we do. This. It can't be. You, you, could do, you could do six a year each, easily, I, I think. Or more. Yeah, I'm, one yeah. six, another six months. Easy. Anyway, hit me with your hit me with your best shot. Who's your 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 my first one? F- your front towards enemy f- is, first song. I think it's 25 years old today. If Ooh. I'm not mistaken, I was checking. Well, one of the releases. Of yeah, it. it's it released. Seal kiss morose. Oh. 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 I love these. Are, yeah, so yeah. It's. It was I don't one care of them. cheesy and overplayed. Yeah, it, is. It, it it doesn't deserve to be ignored because it's been overplayed and because it's cheesy. It's yeah. too good. It's it's not necessarily a song's fault that it was overplayed. No, not really. Nearly, nearly was uh, not that big. You reckon? Well, it was released before Batman. Yeah, and it was on its way out of charts to get out of it. That was the Batman song as well, wasn't it? From Batman Forever. Yeah. Why yeah. was that a Batman song? Because, as far as I know, Joel Schumacher was using it. Uh, I don't know if it was already picked to be on the soundtrack, but it was. During one of the scenes where they were kissing to get the romantic feels yeah. so that they were playing the kissing scene over and over again with Val Kilmer and and Val Kilmer and uh, and, and a mirror. John Robin, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be beautiful. Uh, and then I think it's just it's on the soundtrack now. I can't remember what it was already picked to be, but it's it's not in. I don't think it's in the movies. In the closing credits. <laughs> All right, and, uh, but it was, it was it was on its way out again. Not yeah. the charts, I think it was in and out, and then he, less than a year later, I was like, no, 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 hang on. Got some Batman dollars. Got some Batman into it, and a new new video with a seal and the bat signal in the background. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, God. I, I don't hate this song. You can't. You can't. You're not allowed. It's, I'm not letting you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ba da da dum da 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 dum da da dum da 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 He actually yeah. wrote it in 1987. Did he? Did you believe that? Put it on a tape, went... Oh, yeah, fucking, that's shy. Really? And true, I'm not, not, uh, not, that's embarrassing. And came out with such other bangers. Yeah. Well, like, Adamski would have been, Killer yeah. would have been after that, wouldn't it? No. Mm, Hang on. Know. Who knows? Doesn't matter, we're not talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I don't uh, know. So he handed all of his tapes to the producer, which is Trevor Horn, yeah. the Bugle, Bugles guy. Yeah. Video Killer Radio Star. I didn't know that he produced that. Till really? I, I actually thought it was someone else. Now I can't remember who I thought it was because it doesn't matter because this is the guy that did it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, he was like, "No, no, no! You gotta, you gotta play this song. This is a good song. Power through there, so we, seal. So it's produced with all the orchestration and all the. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> it's lovely <laughs> and warm. Uh, uh, I always right. thought the lyrics were fucking weird because you know, the kid, you you don't interpret things. In I don't remember way. any of the fucking lyrics. Well, it's kiss from a rose. Yeah, just on, remember on the, kiss on, from a rose on the grave. So in on my head, grave. I was like." Is it a big giant rose like feed me Seymour? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little shop of seals. <laughs> yeah. Kiss me Seymour. Oh. And this was like, well, how can a rose kiss someone? But I, I was very young and just took everything at face value. Is it about uh, going down on a dead girl? Is it? <laughs> is that what it's about? Genie Mac. Yeah. Genie, Genie yeah, Mac. It is, yeah. Okay. Is that yeah. who got the scars on his face? <laughs> it's was it the formaldehyde <laughs> leaking out? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh, this is off to a fucking whopper start oh, yeah I mean fuck what else did to be said about El El Seal his name his name just his name just his name just why is it not Sea Lion or Walrus Sea Lion why is yeah. it Seal I'll never remember the cover of the album where he, like, he was the A yeah I thought it would annoy the shit out of me because yeah. anyone with no hair is an O yeah do you reckon is that the way your brain goes 
A bald head is an like O. Cell. Well, there's no O in his name, so that no, to, he couldn't sit down for the L. No, you know what I mean? It, it, <laughs> but if he if he wasn't well known, people would went, "Oh, who's Cell?" Maybe he didn't do yoga to do the S. Yeah, like he definitely not doing an E. If he was wearing a little kind of beanie hat, it'd be an A. Maybe, yeah. yeah well, he was the A, wasn't he? It was just him standing there. Yeah. He was the A. He's the A. I think he's he had a big jacket he's on. He's the A plus in this oh, song. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the only seal in the song. <laughs> fucking hell, fucking seal. What's your one? Well, my one's like, no better, like, lad. <laughs> my one is no better. Mine is Girls Allowed. Sound of the Underground. That's a banger. It's outrageous. It's aggressive. It's a... Uh, it's it's bananas. I I I I'm too old to to know that they only found this out today that they came from a television show. Right? I I obviously I thought. Say tell. I was like, really? Well, I, I knew they were put together, obviously, yeah. right? But I didn't know it was a television show. It was an ITV show called Pop Stars, The Rivals, or something like that. And it was. Oh, uh, that's right. I knew that. I was yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, and this was, they were one of the first ones. I th- I don't know. I think so. They're before Liberty X. Yeah, I think so. Before Atomic Kitten. Um, before. Uh, but it was 2002, and this was their lead single. I think this this song came out. It's their first song, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, but this was um, they didn't even have an album. This was just a single that came out. And uh, get it out. The album came out like a year later. That's because they, well, that that's that's standard for the that acts, stuff acts made on on yeah. those TV shows. Yeah, you, you got to strike while the iron's hot. Yeah, and it's, we're not, um, not going to make an album for someone who might be coming second or third. True, even though true. historically, I think people that came second or third in those shows went on to do better. A lot of the time, yeah. The, yeah. the actual winners didn't yeah. do that much, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, their manager was Louis Walsh, uh, Irish, oh, yeah. Irish man. Um, the song was Louis produced. Walsh. Lu- Louis Lewis <laughs> Walsh. Um, yeah, it was uh, there's five girls in, in Girls Allowed. Is there? Five of them, yeah. I thought there was like three. No, there was a lot. I don't know how many. Oh, I'm thinking of Sugar Babes. Ends. Yeah. Sugar Babes, had, that's another one for another day. That's another one. No, I, I already have them for a different one. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. Bagsy. Yeah. Bagsy Sugar Babes. Bagsy. Um, yeah, it was uh, produced by a guy called Brian Higgins, who had a production company called Xenomania, and uh, he, Brian Higgins himself, this is this is what I found weird reading up about him, is that he kind of grew up listening to punk and hardcore and rockabilly and metal, and it, what's weird about it when you listen to that sound of the underground song, like first of all, it's got that, it's got that kind of surfy, yeah, surfy, it's, it's got, so weird, yeah, but like the way it's written, it sounds like a punk kind of song. The more it's I broke not, it down, you could, I could see what you mean. It's, yeah. it's got this formula in there yeah. that has this kind of. Did he write that or the producer? He wrote it. He's a co writer. Yeah, yeah, I think he he after this song, I think he formed this company called Xenomania. But at the start, it was just him doing stuff himself. This Brian Higgins guy, and uh, yeah, that's that's my second one. That's interesting. I, I, I just think it's an interesting little song. And the chorus is nice and heavy. It's Bit, just big distortion on it. Yeah, it's just it's a stupid. It doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't. I wouldn't read too much about it. <clears throat> but like when you think about like what was coming out in that around that time, it was all very bubblegummy as yeah. well. And that's an, I just found that a little bit more alternative. It is, yeah. It was absolutely designed to uh, to kind of pique the interest of people who weren't that interested in in, yeah. that, in that boy band girl band, and band it's culture. It's a better song about the underground than anything the than jam, any, the than jam, the jam ever, ever released. And got one underground. <laughs> Ted was better than any Paul Bella song ever. No care. <laughs> I've had enough. Right. What's your next one? It's a band I don't like at all, but their fourth song is brilliant, and it's Maroon 5, Harder to Breathe. Oh, fuck, I feel sick already. From 2002. 2002. What's the name of the song? Harder to Breathe. Harder to Breathe, I know. You're feeling hard to Breathe now. I feel, I feel like I, my, my arts are going to prolapse, yeah. just saying the words I love Maroon this 5. song. Do you see, Maroon 5 started off as Maroon 5, then they became whatever people asked them to be, or yeah. whatever was big at the time. Yeah. They're just... They're, Shambolic version of Coldplay as well. They do, but Cold, same, do Coldplay, Coldplay became Maroon Five eventually. That's what I'm saying. They all yeah. went down. What what what's big? Yeah, like you know the way that people go into their like, you hear stories about people having rows their record yeah. label. I reckon Maroon Five and Coldplay never had a single never round. not once. Went, okay, no. do you know what's big now? Glitter Stadium Rock. Yeah. Okay, like, yeah. Coldplay have a song with Rihanna. Do you know I mean, like, just there's nothing wrong with that, but in theory, like, it just seems weird. Uh, I, this see this Maroon Five thing. This passed me boy. Quickly, they, but like, I don't like them, so I never. I, but do you know what the guy's yeah. thing is? I think I I didn't really hear much of this song. I heard the this love song, yeah, which I despise. I just hate that song. I don't like this band at all. Mm. I like Mills like Jagger. It's all right. <sighs> Can't. I don't. I don't have like a hatred for them. I just no. But we're not really into pop. Let's be honest. Well, I'm into like disposable shit pop. I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. I like that pop where like you know six years later the fella who sang it is busking. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like them lads. Um, 
because they, they lost everything. They thought they were going to be the new <laughs> fucking Stevie Wonder and yeah. they fucking, you know, they, they snorted all their fucking money uh, via cocaine off yeah. fucking young boys' arseholes. Speaking of Stevie like Wonder, them, this, this song does have a huge Stevie Wonder influence. You can yeah. tell. Yeah. It's funky rock. It's funk rock. And it's, it's about as alternative as they will, I think, would ever get. I Out mean, of all of the songs by them that I know, it's definitely the most acceptable and palatable. catchy. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's super catchy. I mean, they do write a catchy song. They do. They're the super pop version of the Chili Peppers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where they've got this... They have a way of doing things that you can't even hear fucking instruments written. It's just this song, this attack of song. Yeah. That happens. Like, it's so overproduced and there's no... no there's nothing musical to I had it, a listen, really. It's funny you said that. I had to listen to the demo today. Scouts. The demo? Yeah, the demo. Because... Why did when you I, get my room for if them when it was well funny like listen like, <laughs> look at the one look at the one I added to the Spotify playlist it's from the 10 year anniversary okay and I was like what could be on the it, who it's, cares it's, it's the whole album in demo form really the second, people the second did not CD. buy that people who listen to Maroon 5 that, did not buy that that's what their that was that's what their 10 year anniversary was they just dumped that on Spotify or something uh, you'll know it's 100% a double CD somebody bought that it's Scaldi the demo Scaldi it mm. sounds all fucking honky you know yeah, but that, that demo probably cost fucking million dollars as well uh, I couldn't tell you much about Maroon 5 I don't really like it. anything about them about except them like, like their personality yeah your like, man yeah. this tattoo is just whatever people want I'll give it to them just yeah. whatever you want just don't please don't make me not relevant I beg you <laughs> make, please make me be relevant forever I be- he, you know what he's Madonna yeah 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 he was in a movie I watched a while ago <laughs> he's making a move into acting uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, right. Adam, Ad- Adam Levine. Wasn't it Cabin in the Woods he was in, wasn't it? Oh, something like that. Some it was a horror, horror movie. movie. Yeah, some horror movie. He was, he was, I don't know whether it was Cabin in the Woods. It could have been. He's like, it's him and a girl, so already yeah. it's a lie. And it's, it's, he's digging around. <laughs> he's digging around in like some shack somewhere. A cabin. And someone gets him. I don't, I don't no, know. I don't think it is. Is it? it oh. I don't, I couldn't tell you. Again, I, we've talked for ages about a band both of us despise. I mean, know loads about him. Now we're going into his like, his fucking, his like, now, this, his now let's moviography slag like. Now let's slag his tattoos. I, I, I found the one you. thing. Someone photoshopped the meme of his tattoos when the yeah, Super Bowl yeah, went around. Yeah. Someone tattooed a, uh, Someone photoshopped his tattoo. His guitar. He has a guitar, and someone just took out the fender and wrote Square on it and put oh. it up as a real thing. If you're gonna get a tattoo, at least get not the Argos version of yeah. that guitar. But I think it was a Photoshop. Yeah, I think someone. Do you know what? Don't, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your next? All right, one? my next one is a uh, Lady Gaga poker face. No, I love this song. No, I fucking love it. No, you, you're having nothing to do with it. No. I, I, I don't know for some reason. It speaks to me. And I, I, I learned loads about her today. Loads. You know what her real name is? She's like Francesca. Have you got 20 minutes spare? Her real name is Stefani Joanne I knew, I knew it was Angelina Germanotta. Pick one. Just pick a fucking name, right? <laughs> pick a fucking name. So apparently... Rah, 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 rah. So apparently she, she was signed to a Def Jam as a songwriter. Really? Yeah, not really as an act... But as a songwriter, and then she lasted three months, and she fucked off. Um, I do have a lot of time for her as a person. I think she's brilliant. But I just... <coughs> this song is a perfect example of why I don't like her. Really? It's, it starts off kind of... But it's this electro-pop it off, thing, it, which it was big for a like, while. It starts off electro-pop. Yeah. And I always find the start of her songs really interesting, mm. including this, Judas. Yeah, yeah. And, and then the chorus kicks in, and it's bland and vanilla and, and really safe. I yeah, she, they're, they're, they are super catchy. And they're super formulaic as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. But she does this thing with a kind of dark, mysterious yeah, start of it. Yeah. And then this uh, major chord. Uh, yeah. That is a big chorus. banger chorus. Big and I, always. And yeah. I don't mind that in some songs, but I just find them choruses to be the biggest letdown of her songs. Yeah, but she, she, she's done like jazz albums and everything. Like, yeah. oh, yeah. She's super talented. She's super talented. Look, I said, super she, she was signed to Def Jam. Um, for a while and then she worked as a songwriter for Sony Records as well um, she also strangely enough she had a, an acting role in The Sopranos what was she in The she, Sopranos? Um, she was like a school girl um, it wasn't a recording role she was I think in maybe one or two episodes she was just as a kid in 2001 I didn't know that yeah I didn't know that either um, that Poker Face the best selling single of 2009 it sold almost 10 million copies that's her first song isn't it? Uh, that was or her first it? single 
Yeah. Yes. Because much like Jude, like Judas. Dude, I but even you think of like radio and all the like the or her other songs. Like you said, they do start off real weird. And I like that. Yeah, they're interesting. Like, musically, they're yeah. interesting. But you're dead right. She does absolutely walk out the safe. fucking.